how to make a propane tank grill. <clears throat> so, I got an old propane tank from Phoenix, Arizona that I used to have. It's actually outdated. So instead of me going to get it recertified, I decided to use this tank to make it grill. And actually these are around 316 sticks. So they actually last a lot longer. Uh, some of the big grills that you make, you use 60 gallon, 100 gallon tanks. Normally those are pretty good unless you're making a real massive grill. But this one actually can last a long time. You can kill saddle birds in one song. If you're going on trips to the beach, you camping, things like that. You can be able to cook good meals, control the heat, do great things. So I'm actually going to deal one as an example. And if people start liking these designs that I'm going to this design I'm going to come up with, then hey, there'll be another product. But I wanted to kind of show you how to do it first is you want to cut these rings off. You want to utilize these. You might utilize these, so don't throw them away. And cut the tops off. Once you do that, you want to go on and draw your lines on it to find your center. You want to find your center and go on and draw a line. I've already scrubbed or striped my, uh, marked my line on it and started cutting it. As far as striking it real good so I can know where it's at cutting the groove into it just for the sake of time but you do that and it's good to go around it with your grinder and put your little groove in it first that way you'll have a good easy start you can follow your groove and I want to say this a lot of people use this grinder I got the the guard off of it right now I'm familiar with using it I'm going to be using my double protection and some longer gloves when I'm using it just in case the blade explode but when you're using the grinder, you want to allow the grinder to work for you. You don't have to work the grinder. Just allow the blades to sit there and do its job, and it'll actually cut and last longer than you put extra pressure. So know how to apply how much pressure when you're using these blades because, you know, we know time is money and these things can be, you know, um, kind of expensive. So that's the next thing that you want to do. So. When you do that, your goal is to cut it in half. I'm actually going to start cutting some of this in half. I might be able to cut this whole thing in half real quick. I got a couple blades. Hope, hopefully, I got enough. I was actually looking to see if I had another one. I need to check my other toolbox. But for the sake of time, we're just going to use what I got and see if I can cut this in half. But the main thing is using what you got, using these small propane tank grills. When you're making one, a lot of people always ask about taking the vial off, don't want to cut into it while it's smoking, you know, while it's still gas in it. And the first thing you want to do is either twist that knob off, which you can just get some, uh, some good pliers, uh, some good channel locks, or some, you know, some good, uh, some type of locks, or uh, I would say some type of uh, wrench, so to speak, to pull that off. And then once you do it and release it, the gas will start releasing. So even though you think it's empty, because it says empty, it's still got a lot of gas in it. So let that go and just let it seep out. It'll start seeping out slow. And just let it seep out. If you try to take it off too quickly, it might pop out, hurt someone. Even though it got an end to it that keeps it coming, it still can pop out. So be safe when you're removing that. I would say make sure you just ease up off of it. So you start hearing the gas start seeping out good, then just go on and let the pressure naturally just take itself out and then come back in a few hours and then remove it. So I'm going to start cutting this off just to give you an example. Like I say, I got a moment, so I'm going to cut some of it. Start.
do have a firm grip on the grinder, so you want to keep a good firm grip on it because I'm also using this, but I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm allowing the wheel to work, and as you see, I still got a lot of wheel left, and the wheel was small from the beginning, and I'm still able to cut what I have cut so far. The thickest part is going to be around this knob here, so I'm going to save this knob for last to cut through it because it actually got a wheel going all the way around it. small blade but it's looking like it's gonna be good but like I say I'm not applying any hard pressure to it I'm allowing it to cut itself small hinges but they got different kinds that you can grab I was looking for the ones that didn't have this lip on it but you but these are well on hinges but the ones that don't have the lip you can just weld it on opposite side those was the ones I was looking for but this is what I was able to get but these are good still too you actually want to weld these on there take these on there to certify make sure it's square and even again and then we'll clean it once we tack it back together
they always take everything on their first. Never go for the years. <clears throat> and get this is all well. And not have the expectation.
we have this. I'm going to show it, give you a, a close up so you can kind of see. I spaced them out properly and I just welded all the way around them. But I tacked them on there first to make sure that they were set properly and that I had a good solid evenness before I start going on. I'm going to clean it off and then we'll start working on putting the handles on, the feet on cutting the hole out for the smoker we'll start doing all of that but for now I wanted to show you how you put it back together and actually get it ready to open so I wanted to give you a live update and you want to go through here and clean all these off which I'm about to do now so just wanted to give you a live update and let you know that's a process to building these but you actually can do these affordable and using those propane tanks is great, great, great. Yep, and that's it, bro. Like, literally, you can do a lot with that, too, man. That 50-gallon tank, that's a big grid. That's, that's to be a nice one. This is actually a small one. And I'm going to show some ideas of what we can do with just this small one. But, yeah, that's a lot of assets. We're having the right one. I like to use this the bubble pad when I'm cleaning my burrows off instead of a brand a brand and wheel.
y'all some of the first stages. I just wanted to show y'all on the first stage. I still got some of the stuff to do for the sake of time. I'm not going to grind and do the whole thing in front of you. But I wanted to give you an idea on how to make a propane grill. And this is just a fancy stage, you me? So, just to show you, we got something working with something. It's looking nice so far. And it was an old propane tank. So, these are the first stages. And like I said, we're going to make the whole thing. I'm just now getting to it. I still have to clean up a lot. And I have to make the feet. Which is, I'm actually going to make the feet out of some tubing or some round rod. I'm actually going to be working out that idea. I still got to pick up my handle, or my bar handle my gauge and some kind of stuff. I got a couple of items I got to finish up items I got to get. But I got enough metal to mess around. So we're gonna figure out how we're gonna line it out, how exactly we want to look. And we're gonna have to have a, a smoker where we can release the smoke. So we're going to make something probably out of two. Not this big though, but you know, we're going to make something out of this, cut it, position it right. This is actually, this is actually a good cut for this fit right here, to have it up that angle. So I might use that cut. So I'm coming up with the ideas, I'm gonna make something pretty easier. Like I said, I got a couple pieces of scrap to do a couple of things. I got my inner vent and lock, so I'm gonna bring it so we can work on that. But I wanted to give y'all just some ideas of how you can build your own propane tank. So your own propane tank grill. Just wanna give you some ideas. I'm in my shop right now, I'm out this out. Just like I've got a few stages in front of you in 30 minutes. So we've been filming this live for about 30 minutes and I've already knocked these many, this many steps out in that time. So it doesn't take a long a long time, especially if you got some skills. If you're not skilled, it's just gonna take a little bit, but you can do it and you can build something great. I'm gonna give you the rest of the video once I get the other things and keep going. We're gonna go for this stage and build it live and just give you some updates as I will and put certain things on. Cause I think all of that is gonna be excellent as far as the knowledge. I gotta put a hole in it, so we're going to put our hole in it for our smokestack, and this is going to be probably a different type of grill. I got some ideas, so we're going to work, we're going to play with this, and we're going to come up with some cool things, and I think it's good to think outside of the box, be flexible with your ideas, with your imagination, and know that your imagination gives your limitation. Keep digging hard on top. Like this.